Um, I love it because I see an acute need to bring the science to the forefront of decision making so that we can be more effective in how we're protecting the ocean. I love what I do because it's about making food from the oceans, food that can be incredibly delicious, and uh, food that is an important source of protein and livelihood for much of the world. Uh, it's about the many people living in coastal communities and coastal zones who are intimately connected to our natural resources. I love being a scientist because I get to study the nature of nature. I work in a lab and I love it because I love the way the machines sound and hum and the way the metal uh, shines. <laughs> and I love to be in the lab and I love to watch plants grow. And um, it makes me happy. And I love the people that I work with. I love it because I get to combine math, chemistry, meteorology, and computer science and tackle questions like healthy air and climate change that people care about. I love this topic because it's very complicated and very interesting. There's a really interesting interplay between the technical factors, the political factors, um, and the policy drivers and the public response that make it all, and economic response that make it all really relevant. Uh, I really like what I do uh, because I have a tremendous amount of freedom, a lot of independence. I get to pursue my own interests, uh, the types of projects that, that, that I find uh, intriguing. Uh, I'm presuming that I can convince other people that these, these problems are, are interesting and important. I get the money to hire graduate students, which is the other best part of my job. Uh, I get to work with very bright, motivated young people, people that want to make a difference in the world, make the world better. And it's very hard to be cynical when you're surrounded by people like that all the time. I love bones. I love bones. I love the puzzle. Something like this tells us about the past. This animal is an extinct herbivore named plants that lived in Asia many millions of years ago. I love my job because I get, out, I get to get out of bed every day and work on something that I think is interesting and important. And there are lots and lots of valuable things to do with your life, but I get to think creatively, I get to direct my own program, I get to spend time with young, enthusiastic people, and I get to try to make the world a better place by understanding how it works. I love it because I get to train earth system doctors who are going to fix what is wrong with the earth. So they are able to take the pulse of the planet and say, this is the kind of solution that may work. And I love this because it's so fascinating. I get to be outside quite a bit. I get to go on adventures, uh, oftentimes uh, on the ocean or in the ocean. It's great to uh, work with the different kinds of ships and vehicles. The mapping technology is absolutely awesome. There's so many wonderful things that you can do with maps now, especially on computers. And some of the work that I do now helps us all to uh, make better maps uh, on computers. As a mother of two young children, I often wonder why am I trying to do this and be a mom? And the reason why is because I feel that my work is important and it's having a tremendous Im impact, and it makes me happy. This kind of research is, uh, is fun to do because it's, you get involved in so many different disciplines. My original background is uh, mathematics, and, um, and I get involved in many, with working with people from many different disciplines, with ecologists, with archaeologists, anthropologists, psychologists, you name it. And this is fantastic to uh, co combine all these different knowledges. I love doing this because it means that I get to go out into the community every day and ask people, what do you want from your landscape? And how can I help you get it? How can we understand the science of ecosystem services better so that you can get the things that you want from your landscape, so that you can make smart management decisions that are proactive management decisions. And um, I like that, I think, especially because I get to hear people who are making landscape decisions tell me that these are tools that they can use to be more proactive and less reactive about the kinds of environmental decisions they're making.